Hi, I'm Toshi Penny, and today we're going to show you how to get started in Squarespace. We're going to create a new page. We're going to add a banner image, text, button, and a bit of content below so you can get ready to launch your new website. So, where you'll start is this main uh, section here. You want to click on Pages. And next, this is where your main navigation is. I'm going to create a page in the Not Linked section. Um, if you're creating a home page, create it up here. But since I'm just making a non-linked page, I'm going to make it down here. So I'm just going to call this a home page. And there are a number of different templates you can use down here. For this purpose, I'm just going to use this blank page here. Alright, we'll start out with some text. When you click here, you can add some text. When you start typing, you get a paragraph. But now I'm also going to add some other blocks. Above, I'm going to add a text block, which is a header. We're going to add another block below, which is another header. But let's get into the banner. So you click on settings, which you can access either from this page, settings or banner. Um, you can also access it within the page here if you click on the gear icon. I'm going to disable this page since this is my live website. Um, and you might want to do the same, but make sure it's enabled when you're done. If you go up here and click to click on media, add an image, and I'm just going to use this landscape here. And while it loads, putting that image in there is going to create a banner here. It'll get rid of the black background here, and you'll see the image. And what you can do is overlay it with text in this little description area. So let's do bold text banner. Now when you make it bold, it makes it big. When you make small text, well, small text, if you make it not bold, it'll appear smaller. And then if you want a link, or a button rather, create a link and you'll have a button. So there you go. This was our bold text, the small text, and the link. And you, as you can see, you've created a nice big background here. Now, if you want to make content, you need a combination of text and images to make a, an engaging page. Um, one way of doing that is having text on the left and text on the right. And I'm just going to slide this block over there. Copy text. Get it right here in line with this header two on the left and paste and slide it over and if you want these to be the same let's make them both header two this is actually a header two and there you go you can make as many of those as you want it's a nice way to format information another way is to have three separate columns And you can use text, you can use images, you can use both. Let's get some text there. More text and more text. And what we'll do is just make these separate columns here. 
this paragraph um, got pushed up into this block so we're just gonna make a new block here and now we're able to move it and let's get it right there and let's center it make it look a little nicer and then maybe get some headers in here and then we'll just copy and paste that Sometimes it turns this text into header. You can just just go back down here and normal. Great. Um, if you have other pages, you can add buttons. I'm going to make this small. You can do that on each of these. Um, another great way to organize content is to have images above these. I'll just use this random cutout of me here and so you can click anywhere in here to move it and you just want to move it click hold and drag of course it's not working there it goes and you want a line directly above the text that you're putting it so I'm gonna put it there and since it's gigantic I'm just gonna make it a bit smaller and you really want everybody to see all of this at once it's just better for the user experience so I'm gonna make this let's do three lines and then you can add more images here don't have any options here so me again and let's do one more obviously you want different images in here rather than yourself and rather than the same image three times but this gives you the idea and again the buttons button small apply button small and apply um, you can see this third one the alignment is a little off you just click on the image and you get this little bar to come up and just play around with that and you'll get it right that's another great way to, to put uh, content in Squarespace and I'm going to show you one other one the last one has image and text and it's to highlight one important aspect Again, me, sorry. <laughs> um, so we got an image in there, and then we're going to add some text. Let's just copy this up here, bring it down. So you've got your image and your text, and we just want to slide the text up here next to the image. Maybe get a header in here. And I'm going to shorten this so it's kind of in line with the text. And we're also going to add a button. And, you know, you can center this if you want. Um, I'm going to leave it on the left for now. Either one works. And, you know, you can do three of these and have a really nice page. A lot of pages will... all. Um, alternate image on the left image on the right text on the left text on the right um, it's a great way to lay out a page and there you go